Ida <laughs> Rende Becketo Coto Coto Villa Catacata, Rande Cantum Brande Cumba, Livenementos, Brendo Cosco Palades, Masia de Kedem, Ekendo Cano Malanas, Ekonta, Zuas Capacatos, Copia, Jesus Abrinus, Rande Meleconto, Zuas Cambrenos, Kibrenos, Ekonto, Manazo Zaneca, Dombala, Manamanosha. Thank you, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we declare the third day of this online prayer open in the name of the Father. Amen. In the name of the Son. Amen. In the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord is in this place. Yes. And we know it. Yes. We want to bless everyone that have started this three-day online on setting generational altar ablaze. And I know God has set the altar of your lineage ablaze in the name of Jesus. Amen. The first day was wonderful. The second day was wonderful. And yesterday when I was rounding up, I was saying there is going to be an impartation. And the Lord arranged it, and with a man of God, a prophet of the living God, Evangelist Olamide Peter Uluwalan, and he's sitting down with me. He's going to be praying with you prophetically. He's a man of encounter. He's a man that I've seen the Lord, and his war contained the fire of the Holy Spirit. So I will just go straight into the teaching, and after that, we'll be praying with you. Dalicia Kalema Shia de Kisia Dimbala Mashareke Lima Disia Mashiko Sabe Kumba Katuas Kalika Lia Madisia Dakale Rika Lima Madisi Kale Shikede. Every altar that is holding your destiny, that is throwing your destiny down, I set fire on it in the name of Jesus. Amen. The power that is bringing retrogression into your life. That power that is not allowing you to be who God decide that you should be. That power is set ablaze today in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. The power that is holding other people down will no longer hold you down in the name of Jesus. Amen. Today we want you to look at the covenant of exception. It doesn't matter what is happening to other. The fact that it is happening to other doesn't mean it will happen to you. As a child of God, there is a covenant upon you. We call it the covenant of exception. I'm going to show this to you today. All the evil, all the generational pattern that is affecting other people in your lineage, you will not be a victim in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. I say, I want you to declare to yourself, even as you are joining, as you are watching, I want you to continue to share and to, and to, and to connect by writing Amen. I pray and I make a declaration again. That what Karema Sidile Sheke Beke Sima Dakada, the Lord said, in some family they are wearing uniform of battles. It is the same with the first born, with the second born, with the third born. All your experiences are the same and they are negative. Hmm. I make a declaration. Whatever make you look like others, whatever make you look like them, 
I pray I disconnect you from such in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Just before we go into the prophetic prayer, where you are, I want you to begin to worship God. Because the Lord told me, and that's why we were praying in tongues when we started. We were celebrating God. We were glorifying God. But I want you to also do so as you are joining us. The Lord told me in the night, He said He has visited some people yesterday. And I got a message from one of the people that is watching us far away from the U.S. And he said, she said she had an encounter in the night. And the Lord has told her, he said she has, he has visited some people. You are one of the people God has visited. Amen. And you are the next person that you have a testimony. Amen. So I want you to glorify God Thank in your Jesus. spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Because the first day, he gave his word and he performed it. The second day, he gave his word and he performed it. And today, God has sent a word. And he has not just sent a word. He has also sent a man of God to release word into your life. The Lord said you should release the word. He said you should release the word. Rade peketom balies kopa livrendos kompalies Yeshua Amashiach Lion of Judah Agunesemba Yeshua Amashiach Lion of Judah Agune Shemba. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Shall we begin to worship the name of the Lord? Thank you, Holy Spirit. The spirit of the prophet is the spirit of truth. Yes. The spirit of the prophet is his word. Yes. The spirit of the prophet is aligned with praises and worship. Yes. Shall we begin to worship God? Thank you. Holy As you Spirit. worship him, you Thank are you, you are Spirit. unfolding so many things. Thank you. You are Jesus. commanding resort in the heavenly. Thank you. Shall we begin to worship God? Thank you. Holy Shall Spirit. we begin to worship God? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Lord, we give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. Because you are God. Thank you, Lord. Because you are God. Thank you, Jesus. Because you are God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to your holy Thank name. Thank you, Jesus. Magnify God. Thank you, Jesus. Over your situations. Thank you, Jesus. Magnify God. Thank you, Jesus. Give him praise. Thank you, Jesus. Because he is able to do it. Thank you, Jesus. Because He alone can do it. Thank you, Jesus. Let Him receive all the glory Thank in your you, life. Jesus. Let Him receive all the glory Thank in your you, destiny. Jesus. Let Him receive all the glory Thank in your marriage. You, oh, Jesus. thank you, Holy Ghost. The Lord asked me to prophesy into someone's life Hallelujah. now. And to prophesy to your marriage. Erenuma super akutubi enos kada embranes kopa librenos every threat of the enemy you, to chase you out mm. of your abode, mm. of your place of comfort and rest. Thank you, I destroy such effort in the name of Jesus. Amen. I render useless and powerless Thank you, every effort of the enemy, Thank you, the agendas of the enemy Thank you, to render your effort useless, Thank you, the agenda of the enemy Thank you, to turn your back, to turn your husband's back against you. Thank you, I decree now Thank you, is rendered useless and powerless in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Every, every familiar pattern. Thank you, pattern of the families. Thank you, Jesus. ancestral pattern. Thank you. That Jesus. this is how you should respond to. Mm. I want to tell you one thing about pattern. Mm. Once there is a laid down pattern in a certain family, mm. no matter how hard you try to please God, mm. no matter how hard you try to make it in life, mm. you your life will respond to that pattern. Mm. You won't know why you are doing some things, mm. but because there is a laid down pattern in your family. Mm. I came from an Ifa Oracle family. Mm. They used to worship or Ifa. But because of what they did and what they are doing, my life is compelled to a certain pattern. Mm. That is, this is how they ought to live. Mm. I may try to live beyond that, mm. but because of the pattern, mm. my life will be restricted. Mm. My life will be limited. Mm. If I have a ministry, 
if the pattern has not been broken, broken. my life will be limited to mm. the pattern. Mm. I may not mm. desire to have two wives, mm. but because there is a pattern, a laid down pattern, Save many much. lives are responding Save to pattern, much. invisible much. pattern. Much. If you are watching me now and your life is responding to a pattern, I break the pattern in the name of Jesus. I break it in the name of Jesus. I break it in the name of Jesus. I break it in the name of Jesus. Isua masu paketo. Ira meko sopalenos. Rabrakos kopanes. Holy Spirit ask me to tell you more about pattern. You see, there are families. Their life is responding to a certain pattern. They have to go or pass through a kind of pain mm. when it comes to giving birth. Mm. A certain pattern will waste their life seven years, eight years before they have the fruit of the womb. Mm. They are responding to that pattern unknowingly. Mm. They, there are some families that before they could get married, they have to wait, 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 because there is a pattern their life is responding to. Mm. Some will just find it difficult to please God. Mm. Some will find it difficult to be righteous. Even after giving their life to Christ, there is a laid down pattern. Mm, their they, life, is, their still life is following. A laid down mm. pattern. Man of God. A laid down pattern that their life is following. Mm. That their marriage is following. Mm. They have to wait before they get married. Mm. Not because they want to wait, but because of a pattern. Mm. Not because they want to go through operation or surgery, but because of a pattern. You are washing me right now. You are washing us now. I decree and you are connected to this. Every pattern your life is reporting to it. I break them in the name of Jesus. Amen. That strength, a pattern is having over you. The pattern of your father's house, the pattern of your mother's house, this is the way you have to get married though. If you are not impregnated, mm. you cannot get married. Mm. If you are not this, you cannot do this. It's a laid down pattern. Mm. You know that you are the one the Spirit of God is referring to. Mm. Every cord of that pattern is broken is now broken. in the name of, in Jesus. The name of Jesus. If you can type and shout Jesus. seven Jesus. powerful Jesus. amen, I decree by the usher of God upon me, let every pattern your life is constrained to be broken in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. When you are talking about pattern, yes, sir. Um, the Spirit of God is just saying that is the message for today. I no Because in the scripture, there was a man, Gideon. He has 70 children, and one of them was a bastard. His name was Abimelech. And when Gideon died, this Abimelech, I'm speaking from Judges chapter 9, because I want you to pray seven mighty prayers within seven minutes. And when Gideon died, this Abimelech went to his mother's people, and they did something. And that is what I want you to know. Judges chapter 9. I'm going to read five verses and we'll begin to pray again. And Abimelech, the son of Jerubah, went to Shashem unto his mother's brethren and commune with them and with all the family of the house of his mother's father, saying, Speak, I pray you, in the ears of all the men of Shishem, whether it's better for you, either that all the sons of Jerubah, which are three scores and ten persons, seventy, yes. reign over you, or that one reign over you. Remember also that I am your bone and your oh, flesh. flesh. Verse 3. And his mother's brethren spake of him in the ears of all the men of Shisha, all this world, and their hearts inclined to follow Abimelech. For they said, He is our brother. Pay attention. Verse 4. And they gave him three score and ten pieces of silver out of the house of Barbary, out of, out, out of the house of Idol, mm. where with Admelech, Aya, vain and light persons, which follow him. And he went into his father's house at Ophra, and slew his brethren, the sons of Jerubah, being three scores and ten persons upon one stone. But here is the good news. Notwithstanding, yet 
Jotham, the youngest son of Jerubal, was led, for he hid himself. Mm. There are seven prayers that I want you to pray within seven minutes. And the man of God will continue to prophesy into your life. I have a prophet here. You know, yesterday as I was rounding up, my spirit was saying there's going to be an impartation that I'm going to lay my hand on my phone and you will see the impact. I'm not just going to be laying my hand. You are going to be laying the two hands. And a prophet of God will prophesy to your life. This is what happened. Gideon died and they were looking for successor. 70 children, but one of them was a bastard. That bastard went to his mother's people. He went home. In the Yoruba language, yes. this, this that's the first mm. prayer. They didn't know that their own blood brother has consulted idol in order to kill them. Mm. That is the first prayer. Everyone, I just want you to type amen. You know, yesterday I was asking you to pray, but today type amen. Just follow the simple instruction. Type amen as many times as possible. They said Abimelech went home to his mother's people. Everyone that have consulted utter concerning you in order to destroy your destiny, I call fire to kill that person today in the name of Jesus. Amen. I call up that person we have an accident on the road. The person that have consulted idol concerning you that have taken your name into an idol, that person is coming under the judgment. Of Amen. God. They they were not aware mm. that one of their blood is consulting and water everyone whether you know or you don't know but before the holy spirit can be revealing it it means some of you they have put your name they have taken your name to hide yes every other way your name is being submitted to for persecution for pain for problem for challenges i said that altar of bliss amen the second prayer when he got there verse 4 and they gave him three score and ten pieces of silver. He wanted to kill 70 people. Mm. And when he got there, they gave him 70 pieces of silver. Mm. It means one piece of silver yeah. for one soul. Yes. And when I was praying the night, I saw in some people's face like this, sold, sold. They, write, they wrote it. When I was praying about this, they sold, sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out. And the Holy Spirit was telling me, he said, do you know the number of transactions that is made in the altar is more than the number of transactions that is made on, on, the, uh, on the stock exchange? Mm. Per day. Mm. He said, per day. He said, number of destiny that have been exchanged in the spirit realm on the altar. He said, it's higher than the transaction that happens on stock exchange per day. Mm. This guy went to his mother's idol mm. and they gave him a piece of silver. The other people, when they sleep, they will be seeing that somebody was giving them money. Someone was giving them money. I pray for everyone. You yeah. are, they are giving you karemasi adakana. Somebody is washing me. They gave you coins, coins, not even paper. They gave you money that they, they are not in circulation again. Old coins. They gave you old coins in your dream. Every money they gave you that they used to exchange your destiny. That thing they took from you is given back to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. It's given back to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. It's given back to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. It's given back to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. It's given back to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. It's given back to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say it's given back to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. And the third prayer, he took vain men, ordinary people, mm. and he went with one stone. Mm. The Bible says with one stone, he killed 70 people. Mm. Only one Just escaped. One and you were praying about pattern. Mm. It means there was pattern of death. Yes. Among 70 Kala people, they all die one day. Every pattern of death in your family, family. Shandra, I terminate it in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Somebody is watching mm. every two, two years, mm. you record death death in your family. I stand as a prophet of God. Masha, that ka, which has ka, ka, happened to others will not happen to you in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. The Lord says, say you should type. That which have happened to others will not happen to me. That which have happened that to others will not happen to me. That evil that is happening to others in my family will not happen to me. Will not happen I to had me. a revelation one day. The Lord took me to my, to my village. 
and I find myself in my room in that place. And I saw my sister. And I saw a mighty giant. It was a demon. Giant. And she, that demon took my sister and began to shook her. Hmm. And she began to cry. And she began to cry. And me, I was lying down on the bed. And I began to be afraid. And I began to be afraid. And as that demon was shaking my, uh, shaking my sister, sister, I saw that the bed that was lying down began to lift up, lift up. That bed lifted up to the ceiling of that house. So I was above the giant that was dealing with my sister. Mm. Oh, I said, this is the demon assigned to punish people in my family. Mm. But in that revelation, I was above him. Mm. Can I pray for you? Shepa, you will be above the demon that is tormenting your people. Amen. The demon that is causing pain in the life of your brother and sister will not be able to reach you. Amen. That demon reached my sister, but he was unable to, to mm. reach me. One day, the fourth prayer, one day I had Masha. a dream. And with that dream, I went to my village. That time, I used to eat in my dream. I used to eat. And that day, I now went. They were preparing that pandemic. And this is the mystery. Four people were pounding it. I recognized one person. The three people are dead. The, it is still dead people are the one preparing mm. food that we were eating in our dream. <laughs> and I rushed there. I wanted to go and eat that day. And one of them said, stop. He said, you cannot eat from this anymore. Mm. He said, you are a man of prayer. Mm. Can I pray for ah, you? That which no, you have been eating to. in your dream, that have been stealing your blessing, that have been stealing your progress, that have been stealing your progress, that have been stealing your progress, that have been stealing your progress. Hey, you will not eat it anymore in the name of Jesus. Amen. I said, you should continue from that place. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Get up and just as we were worshiping God mm. the other time, I saw a, a, a woman mm. and I saw a man at the same time. Mm. The Lord said, This man you are seeing will serve as a benefactor for this young lady. Mm. I saw mm. the woman with luggages, mm. but I, suddenly. I saw that giant man holding the luggages hmm. for the woman. Hmm. He was trying to help the woman. The Lord asked me to pray for you as you are watching and listening to us right now. Thank you. Lisa. That benefactor hmm. that will help you throughout your life is yes. locating you in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. The Lord said, There is someone here. All you need is a benefactor. Mm. In Yoruba, they do say Allah Allah Baru. Allah Baru mm. That person that will help your destiny, that will move you forward. And the Lord is talking to me now. He said, Son, do you know that many are fighting the battles of this pattern? Mm. Every time you want to see someone to assist you. Mm. They must have promised your children school fees. They must have promised them scholarship. Mm. They must have promised to lift your business up. Mm. But you wouldn't know what will happen. Something will just transcend. Mm. And you will discover that the relationship between you and the person is broken. Mm. I decree. Every broken relationship. This new month that you have seen. You must not go into that new month with this same predicament. I want you to hold your head with your right hand. I decree in the name of Jesus every benefactors that have failed in giving you what God has deposited in their care. I decree the Lord is changing them now in the name of Jesus. The Lord is changing them in the name of Jesus. The Lord is changing them in the name of Jesus. New benefactor, receive them. Type I receive. I receive, I receive, I receive, I receive in I receive. the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of I Jesus. Receive. The Lord said there is someone here. Listen to this. There is someone here. Please mm. pay attention to this. Mm. Be attentive. Every time you want to do something great, mm. every time you are about to take a decision that will liberate your life, you used to hear this strange voice. Mm. A voice will compel you to delay or to tarry that what you want to do. Hmm. you know that if you should do that thing 
that thing will liberate you. You know that if you should take that decision, you. you will be liberated. Mm. But the Lord said that every time you want to take that decision, you will be compared not to do it or to carry it mm. or to postpone it. If you can shout a bigger and better amen, three powerful amen, every voice, strange voices leading you into error mm. every month, every year. That is delaying you. That is causing stagnation. Amen. I break and silence such voice in the name of Jesus. Amen. I silence it. 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 Amen. By the reason of the power in the blood of Jesus. Amen. I decree. Receive the oil of exception in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are accepted in the name of Jesus. Amen. Go continue. As the prophet Rosh. was prophesying, I had a voice in my spirit and I wrote it down. He said, You should pray. Every decision that has been made on my generational altar before I was born, but that is now affecting my destiny. Use your mouth. Say, I reverse it. I reverse it. Say, I reverse it. I reverse it. Every decision that has been made on your father's altar, every decision that has been made on your mother's altar before you were born, but that is now affecting your destiny, I reverse it. I reverse it. Every decision, every decision that your enemy has made on your father's altar, in your lineage altar, in your community altar, that is now affecting you, we reverse that decision. Amen. And I want you to type it yourself. I reverse it. Every decision, I want you to type every decision, and I want you to write it down and pray that single prayer overnight. That is what the Lord said. Hmm. And what God said is what changes things. Yes. It is only the word of God that has power to turn situation around. That is the prayer. Write it down. He said, even though I've written it, that every decision that has been made on my generational altar, hmm. I read. Please make sure you pray that prayer. Mm. And that is mm. the only prayer, the last prayer that I'm going to call before we do the last job. He said, Every decision, because there are altars in your father's house, mm. there are altars in your mother's house, and some of these altars were there before your great grandfather were, 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 were born. Be, yes. And God said, You should pray. They have made decisions concerning you thousands of years ago. But the decision they make on those altar is affecting your destiny. Mm. The Lord said you should pray that prayer in the night. Don't forget. You know, we have no reason to deceive you. He said, every decision that I've been made on my generational altar, but that is now affecting my destiny. My destiny. Decision that I've been made 200, 300 years ago, but it's now tying me down, tying you down. That decision is reversed in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Yesterday, when God speaks, there is no point wasting your time. God has spoken. Yes. And there is a covenant of exception. Yes. 70, 69 people died. Mm. But one of them escaped. Whatever that is happening to them, ah, I'm telling this. He said, whatever make, write it down. Whatever make me look like them in my family. Mm. Whatever make me look like order in my family. Whatever make me fail like order, I reverse it. Whatever make me fail like order, I reverse it. Whatever make me sick like order, I reverse it. Whatever make me poor like order, I reverse it. Whatever bondage I found myself, I reverse it. I reverse it. Whatever comes to my destiny, I reverse it. Make Kalia see how much Kalia does. Man of God, mm. we want an we have an assignment. Mm. Yesterday I told them I'm going to be laying my hand on my phone, Masha. and that there will be an impartation in their house. A person someone share a testimony. The last Hallelujah we did. She said she was shouting that Hallelujah in her room because it was an online. But immediately she finished shouting a thousand hallelujah. She said she vomited something. She was not there in the mm. church, in the home. Distance and is not a barrier. There is no distance in the spirit. Yes. She said she vomited something. She has been trusting God for fruit of the womb of four years. Mm. The next month she conceived. Wow. After Glory she vomited. Glory and she did it in the house. Washing us like you are. Glory washing us. The Lord said there will be an impartation. And that impartation will be in your home. And this is what you want, want to do. We want to pray in the spirit for like three minutes. You will not understand what we are saying. 
but the only connection you have with us is to type amen you will not understand unless you have the gifts but what we want to pray over is anointing that will break your generational yoke upon you what did the bible say it said anointing breaks break the yoke and the anointing is upon men is upon us. So as we pray in the spirit, Masha, make ba, sure ba, you are ba, not washing us. Make sure you are ty typed in men de, 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 ba, ga, da, as ba, much as so possible. We will be praying the language of the agent. God will be going to your villages and be setting out a place. Maleshe ke ni ke de Maria da Kasakada Rakale ma diade rekese ke le ke de Ramada da rekese Rika riada mama itasye ke le ke de Mara I see Reke he said, anointing break the yoke. Yes. We are searching for our hand to you. Yes. And they see, as you are seeing our palm. Yes. The Lord said, as you are seeing our palm. Mm. He said, your benefactor will see your face. Amen. As you are looking at our palm. Your benefactor, if he sleeps today, he will see your face. Amen. Your benefactor will remember you. Amen. Your benefactor will send for you. Amen. Joseph has been in prison in Egypt for more than two years. Mm -hmm. But one night, the Bible said, the king sent for him. Your benefactor will send for you. Amen. Your helper will send for you. Amen. That altar will no longer have effect over your Amen. life. Amen. You will not be a victim of your generational altar. Men of God declare as we close. I decree in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Just as the man of God was praying, I received in my spirit. There was uh, there is this woman trying to pack our luggage out of her husband's house. Mm. The, the Lord told me that. There is um, a woman washing us right now, hmm. or that would eventually wash us. Hmm. Your marriage has been attacked. Hmm. A arrow was set in, hmm. and from ever since then, you have been having a negative thought hmm. concerning your husband. Likewise, your husband against you. Hmm. But I decree, if I be a man of God, let that arrow. Come out in the name of Jesus. Amen. I've seen someone having a, a, an issue mm. in the bank. Mm. This has to, to, to do with a major finances. Mm. Major, major finance. Mm. Major finance. And mm. somehow it has been rooted in the bank for quite some time now. Mm. You're having issue in the bank. Come today, come tomorrow. Mm. I decree release upon your major finances in the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive it. 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 Amen. Those who need to sign in order for you to rejoice mm. and for your testimony to be completed. I decree, let the angels of the Lord quicken them now in the name of Amen. Jesus. So shall it be. Amen. Receive fresh spirit. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. 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 Jesus. For those that have just joined in us, the name of the prophet praying for you is Evangelist Olamide Peter Uluwalan. It's a powerful man of God that enjoys the presence of God. You know, yesterday I was just saying that there is going to be an impartation and God brought in and God brought in because of you. I just, the last thing I, I need you to do is I want to declare that your victory will be total. 
your testimony will be complete. None of your testimony will be manipulated. Amen. We have prayed for you the first day. We have prayed for you the second day. We have prayed for you the third day. God will show, appear to you in a way that you will know your prayer will be answered. Amen. Your testimony will be perfect. Your restoration will be complete. Amen. And nothing will manipulate your testimony. Amen. That altar in your family no longer have effect over your destiny. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. I want to conclude by, uh, by inviting you into a night of a thousand hallelujah. Every year, the Lord commanded that we should organize a night of a thousand hallelujah where thousands of people gather and shout a thousand hallelujah unto the Lord. And the next edition is July 16, next month, 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. Everywhere it will be show live, showcased uh, live on this Hallelujah Network. But I want to give you an opportunity to be part of that program. We are going to be on media, on public uh, space massively, on radio, on television, on social media. We, the Lord is telling me that it's going to be great this year. And what I saw, was a needle and a thing. I want you to be part of that uh, Hallelujah campaign. Not just that will be people that will come and shout Hallelujah, that but that will be people that will be partners. And what I saw was a needle and a thread. And I was asking, what's the meaning of a needle and a thread? Is there until needle and thread work together on a piece of cloth that the cloth will not bring out its beauty? So God wants some of you to participate, particularly on our media, spending about $1,000 on our ad campaign. We want to have big images in town and let all the whole city of Adeoki to gather on this mountain and shout 1,000 a year. It's just an opportunity for you to be part of it, and we are not forcing anybody to be part of it. I've been doing broadcast years since last year, the only time I ask people to sow a seed into our live broadcast is during this hallelujah. You can never hear me say that on any occasion because I always feel in my spirit that you should be part of it. So if God is laying it in your heart to be part of it, and even the last three days, this last three day broadcast, the Lord is laying it in my heart that we should boost it. Now, some of the prophecy we have spoken, the people that need to hear those prophecies are not here. So we want to boost it so that it will reach like 10, 10,000 each episode. Each episode will reach like 10, 10,000 viewers. It's my number. So I'll put my number there. You can reach me. You can call to sow your own seed. And as the blessing is coming upon people here physically, because you are a partner, the Lord will also locate you and, and bless you. When we started, the Lord said, there is going to be a book of testimony. Mm. I was just thinking it was a play. And each year, people are sharing powerful testimony. And this year, I'm publishing the book. Book of testimonies of people from a night of a thousand hallelujah. I know your own name We appear in the next edition. Amen. Hey, I said your own name We appear in the book of testimony of one of a night of a thousand hallelujah in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Oh, please, sir. Just come and say a word of prayer as we conclude. Yes, I just we I was doing it alone, but yeah. not that daddy. Is here. Just say a word of prayer mm. and we round it up. My name is by the special grace of God. My name is Pastor Akumala Fe Oluwabamila Julius. Jesus. I pray for you as a servant of God that it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every good thing that you need. To make it in life, Almighty Father will endow you in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will never beg for food in the name of Jesus. Amen. As you are participating in the next edition, in this edition of 1000 Hallelujah, the grace of God will never elude you in the name of Amen. Jesus. You will move from glory to glory, from strength to strength, from power to power in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. So I started as a one man show. God brought us <laughs> and increased us to three. Let's the Lord go. will increase your blessing. Amen. You are be struggling alone. God will bring people into your life. Amen. Thank you, Thank you Jesus. Make sure you share the broadcast. Make sure you type your amen. Make sure you pray that prayer in the night. Every decision that has been made 
on generational altar that is affecting me, I reverse I those decisions. The Lord bless you. Thank you. You are celebrated, man of God. Thank you, The sir. Lord will continue to honor you. Amen. Thank you, everybody that watched. I appreciate you. I appreciate your presence. The Lord will visit you. Amen.